Final stage of jury selection gets started tomorrow for the Holly Bobo murder case. And those chosen appear headed for trial. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, defendant Zach Adams rejected plea offers. And there are now questions about the quality of the evidence against him. One of the big questions going into the trial is, what's the quality of the evidence here at the TBI? Is it mostly circumstantial or is there some physical or DNA evidence? I do not believe, from my understanding at this time, that there's any uh, DNA evidence or any direct evidence. If that indeed is the case, then News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says prosecutors will depend primarily on witness testimony to prove that Zach Adams kidnapped, raped, and murdered Holly Bobo. So far, five individuals have been granted immunity or plea deals to take the stand against Adams, but all will likely have their own credibility issues. It's really going to come down to credibility uh, and what the jury believes. If convicted, Adams faces the death penalty, but questions about the quality of the evidence against him is likely one reason Adams has chosen not to accept a plea deal for life in prison. For the moment, he's set for trial. The issue now is selecting the jury in a very high-profile case. This is a death penalty case, and so they have to get a death-qualified jury, which means that these jurors have to be willing uh, to impose the death penalty. Not necessarily agree that that's going to be the outcome, but willing to, to have an open mind and entertain that as a possible punishment. Leonardo believes a jury will be ready to go by the weekend, and despite rumors of settlement talks, the trial is expected to begin Monday. The bottom line at this point, just days before the trial is to begin, no indication that there will be any plea deal. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right, Nick, thanks. And a reminder, we will provide gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the entire trial. We will have reports tomorrow from Hardin County. And the two Nicks will begin our coverage beginning Monday morning on News Channel 5 Plus and streaming live on NewsChannel5.com.